I shot the following lesson more than 12 years ago, but as you can see, the lesson is just as real today. If there is one sequence related aspect of the golf swing that has the greatest impact on power and accuracy, it is undoubtedly proper hip action. There are three ways the average golfer can swing the club as far as the hips are concerned. I think of them as poor, better, and expert. Beginner players use no hip action at all. They swing almost entirely with their arms. No hips, no power, no consistency, albeit the obvious appearance of extreme effort. The next level is achieved by most players, uh, more specifically those who hit it okay, but just know they're not getting all they should. In this type of swing, the shoulders turn back along with the hips during the backswing. So far, no real trouble. Things don't get out of whack until the downswing when the shoulders and hips move together. Now let me say that again. The problem is that the hips and shoulders move together. Neither follows the other. In some cases, the shoulders will even pass the hips near impact with the ball, and the hips only catch up at the end. You see, this type of player knows how the finish should look, but gets there artificially. More power and more accuracy than the beginner, but still not expert. Then there's the first class of ball strikers. The first class deserves this rating for one reason only. Their hips lead their shoulders during every part of the downswing. Again, their hips lead their shoulders during every part of the downswing. At every point from the top of the backswing until near the finish, the shoulders trail behind the hips. It is this characteristic that makes for effortless power, far exceeding that of the arm swinger.